in you. I will remove from your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And then he said, and I will put my spirit in you. He said his spirit, he'll put his spirit in us. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Amen? Amen. See, that's a promise God has made to us. Amen. What he will do, he will clean us up from our impurities and the idols that we've started to serve. And a lot of people don't know, but idols aren't just statues. Right. Idols aren't just statues. It's whatever you decide takes more of your time than God gets. Whatever you give more of your practice to than God gets, it becomes an idol in your life. Amen? Amen. Whatever you concentrate with is Facebook. I'm going to say Facebook because God is working on me in that area. It's some bookers in here today and I know it is. But God is working on me there. Amen. Amen. It's many errors in our lives that we've allowed to become altars. So we've allowed idols to be placed on them. Amen. Amen. And we have to be also careful that we don't dismiss anything. That's right. We have to take note of everything around us and how we're handling everything in our life. Amen. And we're going to go to Ezekiel 37. Amen? Amen. Amen. 37 chapter. And uh, first verse. Amen. Do we have a reader in the house? Get Minister King to read this for me. Amen. Attack 
your mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. The spirit of hopelessness comes in. Hallelujah. The spirit of despair comes in. Hallelujah. The spirit of lack comes in. Hallelujah. The spirit of poverty comes in. Hallelujah. The spirit of terror comes in. Hallelujah. Yeah. You open the door to all manner of things. Hallelujah. That's why you cannot, your spirit cannot be revived until your mind is renewed. Hallelujah. You first have to be revived in the mind. And see, once the mind has been revived, then there can be a shaking in the spirit. Hallelujah. See, there can be a shaking in the spirit. Once the mind has been revived, then the spirit can be renewed. See, it's sad in here. It said, there was a rattling and there was a noise. Hallelujah. It said in verse 7, it said, a noise and a rattling sound. Skin covered them. If y'all don't get 
hand back. It was naked. So they did the blood work. The doctor came back and he said, well, you got a gout in your knee. I said, God. So they put me on a straight brace and put me on crutches and went to my uh, daughter-in-law. So my daughter-in-law, Keisha, and my son-in-law, Mike, went to the house over the weekend. I was on my brace just barely getting around.